What is going on guys? Welcome back to episode 3 of the Soccer Manager Career Mode kind of thing that I'm doing on this channel. If you haven't seen the first two episodes and this is the first one you've seen, I would recommend going back watching the other two. But if you don't want to and you just want to start from here, that's no problem either. In the last episode, right at the end, you may know that we signed a backup goalkeeper for... Um, David De Gea and that is Gianluigi Donnarumma. I'm not too sure if I'm saying that correctly. Please correct me if I am wrong in the comment section below. Sorry all you Italians out there. But as you can see he is a very very good goalkeeper. He is 85 rated which is very good for a 17 year old. I do believe that David De Gea in this game is actually 92 rated. So to have a 17 year old that is 85 rated, it's not too bad at all. So he's going to be our backup keeper. It has been a while since I have played this, so I'm going to try and remember how to play it. But as you can see, um, not much really going on. As we can see so far, top goal scorer Anthony Martial, three goals. Henrik Mkhitaryan with two assists. And David De Gea has got a 10 10 out of 10 rating, best rating you can get. So it doesn't look like Donnarumma is going to be getting in anytime soon, but he is going to be our future goalkeeper anyway. So we're going to continue now. And as we can see, it's Chelsea versus Leicester. I'm going to go with uh, a Leicester win here. Let's see. Oh, it was a draw. Never mind, never mind. We're going to skip ahead again. Not much more going on at the moment. Ooh. Right, so Burnley have actually come in with a Lingard loan bid. And as we can see, he's 87, he's 23 years old. He probably isn't going to get into the first team squad. So I think we're actually going to accept this. So Burnley, another Premier League level team, have actually come in and took Lingard on loan. Fingers crossed that's going to work out for him. And as we can see, the transfer window is closing sometime very, very soon. But I do believe once you get into get playing games on this, you can skip through a season pretty quick. So I'm going to show you the squad in a minute. If there's any players you would like me to sign, then please make sure to get it down in the comment section below of this video. And I can sign them and I'll even pop up your name and your comment below and say thanks for that as well. So if that's what you want to do, by all means do. If not, then I'll carry on playing it how I want to play it so far. But as we can see... The loan bid has been accepted for Lingard, so Lingard is on his way out. And let's going to jump to the squad. So as we can see so far, we have got David De Gea and Donnarumma in so far. Uh, anybody else? Uh, oh yeah, we've got uh, Sirises. I think that's how you say his name. But we've got Sirises. Oh, Sirises. I, I could be totally wrong, but we got him in on a free agent, I do believe. Going to scroll down. Uh, oh yes, of course, we got uh, Thiago Alcantara in as well in the midfield. And apart from that, we are a pretty solid team so far. So we're going to continue and hopefully we can get to our game. Uh, yeah, so Lingard is out on loan. We already know that. So as we can see now, we are on the 25th of August. We're pretty much near the end of the transfer window, the first one. And as we can see, Crystal Palace have come in with a bid for Wayne Rooney. Wayne Rooney is 30 years old now and he is about a 93 rating. So he's actually quite a good player to have on the game. So although he is aging on a bit, he is 93 rated. They come in with a bid that is just under his value, as we can see here, 12 mil. But we are probably just going to reject that bid. Uh, I do not want to really give a reason. Let's just say um, he's a fan favourite. Maybe that might boost his morale in the club and he might play better for us. Fingers crossed that logic makes sense. So as we can see, our first game is against Burnley. Uh, now this could be quite interesting because I wonder if they will play Lingard against us who we have just loaned out to them. So as we can see, we are up against Burnley. Then there is West Bromwich Albion against Stoke. Uh, Liverpool Man City is a very interesting game. Uh, Leicester versus West Ham also interesting. Everton versus Tottenham. Some big games going on today indeed in the Premier League. So we're going to go ahead and skip to our match. As we can see, quite interesting facts. Uh, their best player is St Stephen Defoe. I think that's how you say his name. Uh, but they've got some quite interesting players in the team like Jesse Lingard, who we have just loaned out to them, George Boyd and Scott Arfield. So as you can see by these ratings, every player on this game has incredible ratings. It's not like FIFA or Pez in any way. The ratings are bumped up massively for every single player. So what we're going to go ahead and do is we're going to skip into this next bit. Uh, and as we can see, we are actually away from home. So I'm going to go ahead and pick the team and then I'll get back to you. So believe it or not, I'm actually quite happy with the team I've put forward. I'm actually going to keep this on, although Pogba is not really a winger. If it doesn't work out, we can either drop him back into the centre mid position and swap out Carrick, or we can just sub him off for a natural born winger on the bench, maybe somebody like Mata. Even he's not really a winger, but fingers crossed we can sort something out either way. The only swap I have done is I've brought Gianluigi Donnarumma, the new signing, onto the bench. 
Um, and yeah, we're going to stick with the same kind of tactics and go in for a win against Burnley. So as we can see here, Burnley have started with a four, kind of 4-4-2 four, four, formation. They've got Lingard as a secondary striker, kind of centre attacking mid, centre forward, just behind DeAndre Gray. Is it DeAndre Gray? Or is it just Andre Gray? I think it's Andre Gray, but we're going to skip to the match. So the match is actually underway and oh, it is a goal for Henrik Mkhitaryan as we can see guys. It's another attack right here. Mkhitaryan into, oh, I think that was... I think that was number nine. I think that is Martial, but it was saved by Heaton. As you can see, it is total domination so far. Burnley on the attack. Foul by Blind. Could the referee take action here? Fingers crossed it's nothing major. It is a yellow card. So when we get to half time, we might have to sub off Blind. Ibrahimovic on the ball. Back to Mkhitaryan. I think that was Pogba. Pogba header. That seemed like it would have been a Pogba hell header. Um, I don't know why. I just, I'm guessing. But oh, out to Pogba again. Pogba in. Oh, Mkhitaryan, I think that was then, and then into the hands of Heaton safely. Martial pushing forward. Oh, and it's a Martial wonder, wonder strike. Um, nice little dribble through the defence there, straight through to the goalkeeper. And we are, in fact, at half-time. So I'm going to go ahead and make the substitutions I need to make right here, and then I will get back to you. Right, so at the half time we have in fact made two substitutions but we've swapped a few players about in positions. So as we can see, Sirises was out on the wing and Blind was in centre back position or centre half. Uh, we've took out Blind and swapped Sirises from the left back into the centre with Chris Smalling and then we put Luke Shaw out on the wing to cover our defence. And then uh, we swapped Pogba out for Carrick, pulled Pogba back, we put Martial back from striker and we brought Rooney on. Fingers crossed Rooney can get a little goal, bring his form back up to scratch, maybe go up to a 94 rating and then we can sell him on for a bit more money potentially. But we're going to carry on, we are 3-0 up, we are cruising through Burnley away, so fingers crossed we can carry it on, let's see where we go from here. So the match has in fact just kicked off and as you can see we are in total domination mode. 10 shots, 12, 13 shots on target. It's just incredible, incredible stuff. And here we go again. Oh, this is a Burnley attack. Burnley crossing, but David De Gea safe hands McGee all over it, all day. No threat right there. We're going to keep on skipping. We're in the... We're finished up. Wow, we've finished up. So we got to the 90th minute, basically no goals in the second half. But as we can see here, Pogba got an assist and a goal. He got a 10 out of 10 rating. Man of the match, Paul Pogba. Fantastic stuff to see. Our little man, beauty himself. Um, and then as we can see, we got Martial here with a goal on a 7 rating. And then we got uh, Mkhitaryan with a goal and assist as well. So Mkhitaryan had just as good a game as Pogba, but that is all for now. We're going to go ahead and skip to the next kind of bits of information. Let's do that now. Right, so as we can see, some interesting facts that have popped up here. Interesting results, should I say, not facts. Tottenham beat Everton 2-0. West Ham beat Leicester champions 4-0. Uh, Arsenal drew 0-0 with Swansea, but Man City and beat Man City beat Liverpool 3-0. Let's just have a look at that. See who scored. Fernando Aguero and Nelito. Fantastic stuff for Man City. Not so good for us in the league. Let's see how West Ham did. Uh, West Ham scored with Cresswell, Cayute, Noble, and Figuli. Uh, interesting stuff once again there, but not much more to report on there. We're going to go ahead and skip to the next bit. Right, so as we can see, it is saying that the English transfer window will close on the 31st of August in 2016, and we are not far away from that at all. Three days to be precise, so if we want to get any deals in, now is the time to be doing it. Uh, we have had an another bid from Southampton for Wayne Rooney, and that is just atrocious. That is just, honestly, it's disgusting stuff. I'm just going to say I'm not going to give them a reason. If they're going to come in with £9.5 million for a guy that is worth £12 million, then they don't deserve a reason why we're turning it down. Some more Premier League matches going on today. We've got Middlesbrough, Sunderland, Chelsea, Hull, Southampton, Bournemouth. Uh, wow, big result for Chelsea. They did let in two, but let's see who scored five for them. Uh, David Luiz got three assists. That's incredible, incredible stuff. And Pedro got a hat-trick. Uh, Kante got on the score sheet, and so did Cahill. Um, something that you will never see in the modern day is Gary Cahill having man of the match because that man is atrocious in defence. One more Premier League match, Watford against Crystal Palace and Crystal Palace win just as we would suspect. Um, Southampton, yeah, rejected. 
Uh, the transfer window is closing very, very soon indeed. We are on the 30th. It closes tomorrow. Tomorrow? Tomorrow? Is that a thing, tomorrow? I don't know. Uh, but the transfer window has in fact closed. Um, I don't know if we can still go through with this bid from Sevilla for Michael Carrick. Uh, they put forward 1.8. Michael Carrick is worth 1.11. Can we respond to the bid? Um, you know what? Let's just let's give... Um, I'm insulted by the offer. Uh, the offer was too low. Let's just say, seeing as though the transfer window has closed, maybe they might give it us because they really need the player. Uh, we'll just say 2 million and you can have him. Manager of the month goes to Pochettino. Congratulations to him. Team of the month. So we got David De Gea into the uh, team of the month. We also got Chris Smalling into the player of the month. Uh, team of the month, sorry. And that's it. So, so far we've got a pretty strong defence with two players in the defence. Uh, player of the of this of the Premier League so far goes to Manchester United's David De Gea. That's good stuff as well. Um, young player goes to Andy Robertson. We're not going to look at the lower leagues because, well, basically we're not in them. And yes, yeah, Sevilla have rejected Michael Carrick's offer, so nothing too bad. So there, we're going to go ahead and visit the training grounds to see what is going on there. Um, yep, yeah, nothing really interesting right here maybe we'll upgrade this now that the transfer window has closed we can actually upgrade some of these stuff so we are actually going to upgrade the training center uh scouting network we are already upgrading that i believe uh the youth academy should we upgrade that we don't have enough money to upgrade that never mind never mind the medical center is probably something that we might want to upgrade just for the sakes that it, it, it may be important uh, it, we want some injures, injuries to, to not last as long, so we're going to go ahead and set that up as well. Not a lot of money left, but that is fine. We're going to skip to our emails. Our next match is against West Brom, and it is actually at Old Trafford. So it's a very important game for us, so we've got to get a win there. Skip to it. As we can see, loads of big matches on. We're going to see the results afterwards, but let's get into West Brom United. Uh, as we can see, some key facts about it so far. We have only had one loss in our last five games. They've had a draw, a loss, a loss, a loss and a win so far. Chris Brunt with an 87 rated, 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 rated. Uh, I don't know what that means, but yeah. Uh, 999, which is his price, which is very reminiscent of what they'll have to do when they have to ring the police using 999 when we demolish them and destroy them. Um, Nasser Chadley, I like him, I like Nasser Chadley as a player, but let's stop speaking, let's get into the match. So as you can see guys, this is the lineup we have in fact gone for, it is the 4 treble 2 formation, we've brought Shaw on, we've put Pogba back into the centre defensive mid position next to Thiago, we've put Mata on the wing, we've not really played with Mata just yet so far in this episode, so let's get little Mata boy on, he can do some magic stuff with Mkhitaryan also, and we're going to start with the veterans up front, Wayne Rooney and Ibrahimovic. If that doesn't work out for us, then we can always whip on Martial off the bench. So let's get into the match. So the match is underway already, and it seems like it's pretty even so far, but oh no, it looks like we're overtaking Zlatan with a through ball to Mkhitaryan, I think he passed it on to Rooney, but Foster saved it, Ben Foster, well done. Ex-Manchester United player, Thiago with a through ball to Zlatan, Zlatan with a weak shot probably because Ben Foster picked it out the air like an apple falling from a tree. Um, and as we can see, it is half time and it is nil nil. So this is not good stuff, so I might change up the tactics, change a few players about and then get back to you. Right, so as you can see here guys, we've actually changed the tempo from slow up to fast, so we're going to be playing the ball a lot quicker now. Um, we're going to keep that normal ta um, tackling style, we don't want to go too hard and get some silly cards, because we have made two substitutions, and in fact our mentality is also attacking. We've swapped on Herrera for Thiago, give Thiago a rest, he started like the last three games for us, and we've also swapped on Martial for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Or so he can harvest some energy and he can get into the next game as well. But also he's not been playing too well. So we're going to get into the next half and fingers crossed we can score some goals against West Brom. So the second half is underway and it seems like it's, oh, it's a tackle by Blind again. Is he going to pull another yellow card? It's another yellow card for Blind in his second game in a row. We might have to pause the game in a minute. Let's see where we stand. We're on the 65th minute. Oh, it's a free kick. Pogba, weak free kick. Oh, and was that a Rooney goal? 
I think Rooney got the rebound and Rooney's in fact scored a goal. So what we're going to go ahead and do is pause the match right now. That's a fantastic little goal for us. It's going to massively help us. We're going to go quickly to tactics. I'm going to keep you here. I'm not going to pause. And what we're going to go ahead and do is bring Rojo on for Blind. Just so Blind doesn't get a red card and have to miss the next match. Uh, but as we can see, yep. Blind is now coming off, Rojo is on, and let's see, Herrera with another attack, Rooney with a through ball, Martial has in fact scored a goal, I believe that is an assist for Wayne Rooney, Wayne Rooney is on top form at the moment, another attack, Mkhitaryan with a ball through, Rooney with the shot, but Foster has in fact saved it again, oh Pogba with another free kick in a reminiscently same place, oh and Herrera dribbles through the, the, the defence, I can't speak, but Herrera's scored a goal now. It's fantastic stuff. And believe it or not, Daily Blind did in fact get the man of the match, even though he took a tackle for the team. Uh, as you can see, Wayne Rooney assist and goal. And then we can see Herrera had a fantastic match coming on off the bench. And Martial also got a goal as well. So interesting stuff on that behalf. We're going to skip ahead and move on to the next match. My mistake, no we're not, we're going to look at the other results in the Premier League so far. So as we can see, Arsenal smashed Middlesbrough 4-0. Just have a quick check at that in case any of you are Arsenal fans out there. Iwobi got two, which is good for the youngster, but he did in fact get injured. Walcott goal and assist. And also Carzola got man of the match with a goal as well. Chelsea are ripping things up against Watford. One again, another Once again, another scoreline that is massive. Pedro to assist, Willian two goals, Kante a goal, Matic to assist and Zuma a goal as well. Good stuff for them over there, not so good for us in the league. Leicester finally winning a match against an easy, easy opponent I would say with Bournemouth. Um, were they away or at home? Um, the Gold Sands Stadium, I think, is that Bournemouth? I think that's Bournemouth's ground, I'm not too sure with that, I think it might be. Um, and then Liverpool won, but we're not going to check that because that makes me feel sick. No offence, Liverpool fan. Well, yeah, offence, Liverpool fans. I'm a United fan. But as we can see in the table so far, we stand at third with 12 points just underneath Tottenham and Chelsea. So we do need them to drop points. We played the same amount of games, but we need, we need them to drop points. So we're going to carry on as we have been doing. We're going to play the next match and maybe wrap up this episode just about there. And as we can see, this is going to be a final match of the week, I think. It's a Sunday match. Sunderland versus Crystal Palace. Nil-nil. Boring, boring result. Oh, I was wrong. There's actually a Monday night match at 8 o'clock. And it is, in fact, Swansea versus Everton. I'm going to go an Everton win. Maybe a 3-1. Oh, <laughs> nope. Another boring nil-nil result. Glad I didn't watch that match. Wow. So, guys, as fact... Now, this is something interesting. I don't know if we have seen this so far in the, in the career mode of, of this. But, in fact, it does notify you uh, when a player's rating has gone up. Now, this is something I would like to see in FIFA career mode. Um, but I don't think they have it in at the moment. Uh, just a little notification telling you that a player has, in fact, gone up in rating. As we can see, Damian has, in fact, gone up from a 90 to a 91 rating. So if we go to the training ground, we can see here he's gone up one in marking and one in control. Um, and this is quite an interesting thing that I, I do like. I do like this aspect of the game. But no, Damian is a 91 rated player. So we're going to keep on playing that guy. Some more increases in player ratings, but not that much of an interesting one. It's Sean Goss, uh, and as you can see, he's gone up from a 75 rating to a 76. Uh, nothing major there. He's not a first-team player, but it's good to see a youngster going up in rating. Um, and as we can see here, we're going to read this. So it says, sports jer media journalists have approached you, blah de blah de blah Guardiola, if Manchester City said blah 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 um, Guardiola of Manchester City has said he finds it surprising Zlatan Ibrahimovic not quite performing as well as he would have been expected to this season. What do you make of that? I have no problems with Zlatan Ibrahimovic's performance. He's doing everything I expect of him. I like that answer. I'm going with that answer. Let's see where that takes us. Um, what's this one saying? Uh, message from the player. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has thanked you for the supportive comment about his performance. He has told you that he will repay you with the faith of the performances. So, oh, that is what not opponents. Opponents don't want this. Zlatan is gunning for a goal. And as you can see, what better time for Zlatan to want to score in the Manchester derby. So, it's a big match. Man City are not above us, I believe, in the table at the moment. But what a match to end this episode on. We're going to get straight into it. I'm going to pick the team and we're going to destroy Man City. 
I'm going as Latan Ibrahimovic hat trick. It is at the Etihad, so that does give us the lower chance of winning. Uh, let's just have a quick check here. Five appearances, five goals, and one man of the match for Sergio Aguero. A guy that is on fire this season so far. It's not good for us, but he is the same rating as Zlatan Ibrahimovic. They also have David Silva, who's 95 rated, Kevin De Bruyne, who's 93 rated, and Fernandinho, who is 92 rated. We can win it though, so I'm going to go ahead and pick the team. So, as we can see here, guys, they've gone with the four... Th uh, sorry, four double three. Is that does that make sense? Nobody says four double three, do they? It's four three three B formation, which means that they have a centre defensive mid in their mitts and two CMs centre mids. Uh, but the subs that we have made, we've kept the defence the same because I'm happy with the defence so far. But we have in fact swapped our CDMs. We've swapped Carrick and Herrera on for, I believe, Pogba and Thiago. And then we put Thiago on the wing so maybe something can come of it. We've got Zlatan up top, Martial and a very strong bench indeed. But fingers crossed we can get a win here. We need a win. Come on guys, we need this win. The match has gone underway. Let's see where we go from here. Come on. Please, a win against Man City would be fantastic stuff. As you can see, we've had the more shots on target. Nothing's come of it. Oh, no, it's a Man City attack. Blind kicks it out. Otamendi on the attack. Thiago's gone in with a rush tackle, it seems. The referee's taking action. Is he giving a yellow? Please be a yellow. It is a yellow, but it's not good stuff. It's not. We might have to pause the game. Oh, it's a Manchester United attack. Mkhitaryan down the wing. Through to Martial. Oh, and it's weak. It's weak. Bravo scooped it up like a kid making a sandcastle at the beach. I don't. I don't know. I, I don't know what I'm going on about. <laughs> I wouldn't mind taking a draw, but I would prefer a big, big win over our rivals. Um, but fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We can at least get a draw. A loss is the last thing we need. We really don't want a loss here. And speaking of a loss, Gundogan. Gundogan is in our box. Through to Nolito. Nolito. Oh, it's a goal. What did I just say we did not want? Nolito has scored a goal right coming up to half time. Doesn't look like we're going to get anything back at this point. They're going in again. David Silva down the wing. Through to Aguero. Oh, David De Gea saves it. What a man David De Gea is indeed. Come on. Right, so we are um, in fact at half time right now. We're going to go ahead and make the swap of Thiago for. Ooh, let's see. Let's go Thiago for Mata. Uh, should we go Thiago for Mata? Where where is Mata? Why, why am I being black? Oh no, not Mata. Sorry, Thiago for Mata. Mata is on the bench. Silly, silly me indeed. And we're in fact going to bring on Wayne Rooney because Wayne Rooney is just a god. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. I believe in the team. So Man City have just kicked off the game. Let's see where we go from here. If we can just pull one back, it can make a, a huge difference to the team. Come on. Come on. We can do it. No, this is not what not, we need. No, they're on the attack again. Threading it through, but De Gea has saved it again. De Gea has made this game only 1-0. It could have easily been 3-0 so far for Man City, but it's not good stuff. Maybe around the 75th minute we're going to make a sub. If nothing comes of it, come on, come on, come on. Right, so we're on the 75th minute. We're going to make a substitution. Let's bring on Paul Pogba for... Ooh, who are we going to bring? We're going to bring Paul Pogba on for Carrick. Fingers crossed something can happen here. Come on. Oh, bravo with a big ball out. Aguero's running onto it. Aguero, and it's saved again by De Gea. De Gea is saving this team massively. I wish I could congratulate a player after the match because honestly De Gea would be getting all the plaudits right here. We have got an attack. Come on. Pogba. Pogba on the ball. Pogba through to number 10 Zlatan and it's straight to Bravo. Bravo has saved it like nothing is going on. Could have been having a cup of tea whilst that happened. But as we can see, we lost the game 1-0. It's the last thing we needed, but we were away at the Etihad. So... You know what, maybe next time, maybe next time guys, but Nolito with a scummy goal, oh, damn it, damn it, uh, but ah oh well guys, you know, maybe next time, let's see the other results right here. So just having a look at the other results, it's really not good news because Chelsea just beat Sunderland with a 3-2 result and Tottenham also beat Swansea, which does mean if I am correct checking the table, they are in fact pulling away from us indeed. 
What we need uh, next episode is for them to potentially both lose a game, us to win a game, and then we're all back on top form. But if we're not careful, we could easily get overtook by Man City or... Oh, wait. Oh, my God. We're all the way down in sixth. I was reading Arsenal's score thinking that was us. We're, down, we're out of it at the moment, guys. We really need some wins. We need some wins. This is not good stuff. But I promise you I will be back stronger next time. Uh, we're going to skip to the next match. Uh, let's just have a look and see what he said here. Um, nothing really interesting there. You know, it's just scouting some players. We'll check that out next episode. Everton versus Middlesbrough. Everton get a fantastic 3-0 win right there. Skip ahead. Skip ahead again. Hull against Bournemouth. A lot of action going on now that I've just said we're going to end this episode. Um, Champions League match. Man City win, let's just check out the English teams. Uh, Tottenham draw against Club Bruges and Leicester beat Dynamo Kiev 2-1. So that is where we go from there. Uh, and we're going to actually leave it off about here. So this is where we've ended this episode. If you have enjoyed it, like, comment, subscribe, all that goodness. It really does help the channel indeed. But we will be back stronger next episode. If there's anything you do want me to do that I might be missing out on this career mode thing so far, then please let me know in the comment section below. Thank you very much for watching. It's been a pleasure. Have a very nice day. Goodbye.